All right, so John Jones recently got a DUI. First of all, either one of you guys got a DUI? No. Not officially. <laughs> what does that mean? Not that officially. means I've never been convicted. <laughs> so that means no. It's the, no. It's the answer. He's very good at the pads, but he has no sieve on his mouth. <laughs> he has that drainage system. <laughs> Where he thinks he says. Are either one of you uh, still drinking actively? No, I, I don't drink any time during training. I've never been a big drinker, to be honest. No. Um, if it's a special occasion outside of my training camp, uh, I'll have a drink, a family birthday reunion or something like that. But um, drinking has never really been a big thing to me, to be honest. Um, with John, I know John from, from New Mexico. We spent some time together before I changed teams. Um, he, he's a good kid, and, and, and that's exactly what he is. He's, he is just a, still a kid. No matter whether he's the world champion or not, he's still very young in the sport he's making a serious amount of money right now and he's a poster boy for the UFC and he's got to make his mistakes and most athletes have made mistakes everyone's done out there um, and lucky enough for him it didn't come at a price where he was seriously hurt or no one else was seriously hurt um, if he's smart he'll learn by his lesson and never make the mistake again if he's not so smart and he still makes these these kind of mistakes it's gonna it's gonna penalize him tenfold not only with the law but also with his career and with sponsors and so forth yeah, and Dana um, White's the kind of guy that'll that'll is looking for every opportunity to make an example of you. You know, so this kind of thing happens again. You know, yeah, I would not doubt it. <clears throat> Dana is actually, if Dana was actually the one that made him go to like counseling and that kind of thing. You know, put him on a suspension until he got his shit straight, something like that. Dana's pretty good like that with his with you know with his show. Well, the the thing is, you got your, you know, you're an icon for a company. You're the poster boy right now. You're the champion. So you're setting an example. And like I said, I think he just made he made a mistake. He was drinking. We all know he shouldn't be done. Uh, he was driving recklessly or whatever he did, and and he crashed his car and the luck of God no one was seriously hurt but if he makes the same mistake again I can see him being heavily penalized do either one of you feel like he deserves suspension for this no. not, not, not in his career uh, I, I don't think, think it, I don't think it correlates at all with his performance in his job no it doesn't and, and, and I, I agree with that and I think it's right the only thing is probably going to be a problem is like he's heavily sponsored with promotions like Bud Light um, I think and so is the UFC and I think that can cause an athlete drink being sponsored together this could be the outcome and that's not what we believe is the outcome but that's what the everyday people can perceive as the outcome you know and that could cause problems not only for fighters but for the organization itself and that is what really uh, insightful well that's that's what can happen though you know and that's what can bring the situation to more of a, a headline and cause more problems for the would have done if if, if 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 they wasn't if you like but i just think that if he makes the same mistake again he's going to be in trouble you know so the reason I asked about the suspension is because we got guys crashing their Bentleys into poles. We got guys uh, taking TRT, uh, you know, which is basically a legalized perf performance enhancing drug. Yet Nick Diaz is getting suspended for over a year and fined sixty thousand uh, dollars for testing positive for marijuana. Not well, testing positive for marijuana metabolites. Yeah. And explain to us what the difference is. Okay, metabolites are basically the trash left behind. So if you test positive for THC, then that means that there is active THC in your system. You if you test positive one. for metabolites, that means at one time there was active meta or active THC in your system. Did so either one of you guys watch the NSAC uh, hearing? I didn't get to see I it. I caught enough. actually. I caught a play-by-play -play of it. Did you? Uh, what were your thoughts when uh, Pat Lundvall asked Nick Diaz um, when was the next time he used? You know, he got suspended. <laughs> he got suspended, right? It's just, it was just true to form Nick Diaz. He's like, dude, dude. I mean, as soon as I left, right? Because that's what I do, right? The, the, the point of it is that he makes no apologies. He makes no apologies. He's not, he's not gonna say, oh, well, you know what? I did it. It was a mistake. He's like, no, f fuck no, dude. I, I used it when I was able to again because that's what I do, and I told you guys this, and I'm fully legal in doing it in his thing. yeah so I, I i think that that's just that's just true to form nick diaz he he's what you see is what you get and uh thoughts on ariani up kicking her boyfriend out of the limousine <laughs> uh, well 
<laughs> uh, it's hard to make a comment on that, you know. What's more the comment to be made is why a guy would go to the police and get his girlfriend arrested. Uh, at the end of the day, what should be what's in the, what's in your house and in your relationship should stay in your house and in your relationship. I don't yeah. believe a man should go to uh, the police if you. I think that he's used her state, status yeah, in the relationship yeah. to make himself famous <laughs> or bring some highlight to him or to try and damage her career in one way or another. And he bitched himself forever by doing so. Yeah, I you are now a bitch. If, if, if I'm being honest, and I think that I, I don't know how I could go to my people, one of my friends, and say, "What happened? Oh man, I got out of the limo. My girl kicked me. And what'd you do? I called the police. My friends would, wouldn't speak to me again. They wouldn't speak to me again. They'd be like, "You, you called the police? Yeah. Like, okay, let's see you, James. I'll, I'll speak to you next next time I see you. Maybe it just wouldn't happen. But I, but I truly believe that that's the situation. That you know, because she's, uh, you know, she's a ring girl for the UFC. She's a model. She's starting to go places and she's doing a thing. He's look, he's using that as an excuse to, uh, you know, victimize her and, and use her position. And I, to be honest with you, the, the guy isn't, isn't worth her breath to, as far as I'm concerned. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for taking the time. MiddleEasy.com. We always appreciate it. Kit Cope, James McSweeney. Best luck to you both. Thanks, guys. Take care. All right.